محاضرتنا ان شاء الله راح تكون عن الكارديو فاسكولار فانكشن راح نركز على الكارديو سيستم راح نحكي شويه اناتومي فيسيولوجي بعدين راح ندخل على بعض الديسيزز as we know that the heart composed of three layers the most inner layer which is endothelial tissues is the endocardium layer the second layer is the myocardium which is the middle layer and consists of muscle fibers that are responsible for pumping action بالمقصود بالبومبينج pump blood outside of the heart and from right side to the lung the third layer is the pericardium which is the outer layer the heart as a whole as a muscle encased in a thin fibrous sac called pericardium this layer or this fibrous Thin layer consists of viscera and parietal layer. Between these two layers, there is a fluid that ease the process of cardiac contraction and decrease the friction. هذا السائل الموجود بين هاي الطبقتين الفيسيرا والبريتال تقلل من عملية الاحتكاك خلال عملية contraction. The heart is consisted of right side and left side. Also, we can say that we have upper chambers and lower chambers. The upper are the atrium and the lower are the ventricles. The right side consists of right atrium, right ventricle, which distribute the deoxygenated blood toward the lung to be oxygenated. The left side, which consists of left atrium, left ventricle in order to distribute the oxygenated blood to tissues to the whole body parts there is a difference in the thickness between the left side and the right side and this difference is related to the workload what we mean by workload it's the effort the function of each side as the workload in the part of the heart increase the size or the thickness of that side increase we know that the left side function is to eject the blood to systemic circ circulation against high resistance presented in the aorta so that the left side will exert more effort in order to eject the blood against this high resistance so that the left side or the left ventricle will have higher thickness than the right side the right side function is to eject the blood toward the lung to be oxygenated and to be ejected toward the pulmonary artery the resistance in the pulmonary artery is lower than the resistance of the aorta so that the right ventricle will exert lower efforts lower workload on the right side so that the right side thickness is lower than the right the left side thickness in this slide we have the heart bar the atrioventricular valve which separate the atrium and the ventricle here we have the mitral valve which separate the left atrium from the left ventricle or called the bicuspid valve also we have the tricuspid valve which separate between the right atrium and the right ventricle also we have the semilunar valve which are the palmonic valve and separate between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery called palmonic valve and we have the aortic valve which separates between the left ventricle and the aorta. This is an important picture that clarifies the main structure of the heart muscle. 
as we see here that we have the upper chamber the left and the right atrium the lower chamber which are the left and the right ventricle and there is intraventricular septum al hajj alladhi yaqsim ma bayn al left ventricle and right ventricle uh, as you see here that the left side thickness is higher than the right side thickness as we explained previously related to the workload that exerted or that is done by the left side or the left ventricle also we can see here the semilunar valve the first one is the aortic valve that separate between the left ventricle and the aorta also the pulmonic valve that separate between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery also we have the atrioventricular valve the first one is the mitral valve which separate between the uh, ra left atrium and left ventricle and we have the tricuspid valve that separate between the uh, right atrium and right ventricle also we can see the blue color here that indicate the deoxygenated blood that carried from the peripheral part of the body and collected through the superior and inferior vena cava in the right side and ejected toward the lung through the pulmonary artery to be oxygenated then this blood will go back to the left side of the heart through the pulmonary vein to be go through uh, the left atrium then downward to the left ventricle to be ejected toward the aorta the cardiac cycle will explain later